hi hi guys lavender smile channel along with carlana she's filming right now we have melissa in the chair and melissa is undecisive to um cut off all this hair she wants a style on the side we're just going to put some pieces in on the side here of the hair and then we're going to cut some of the style i'm going to cut off some we haven't decided fully how we're going to cut off everything we're still deciding right what we're going to do so as we go along you will see what we are doing on the channel right now with her hair So you see the shape is already formed. When you're doing a good cut, the shape is already formed. That's the shape, it's all in there. So you got the shape. So when you cut properly, you see you get the style already. Oh yeah. See it? Mm -hmm. All falls in place. You can do any style, any style, any style guys, any style. You can kick it up because it's fall in place. Although I'm going to go over it more, but it falls, you know. So it goes over here and we're going to bring it behind the ears here. I'm just taking off a little of the heaviness here, but I don't like to um, take real hair and do all the slicing and cutting unless you have very um, thick hair and you want to lose some. But I don't because I'm afraid of getting split ends for the customer you know the client so I go easy and I have to think about how it's going to grow back if you start dipping into cuts and all these different cuts how the hair is going to grow back time you come across issues in the hair so I have to think if a client doesn't want to do the hair that so the growing back is easy here is a little shorter a little slight layer so the growing back is easy for her and she also can get it you know she's busy she can do something you know two little clips or something in it will clean up hair to make it easier for her or attach something over there she wouldn't attach much on the hair but that's what my idea when cutting i am keeping the client's hair in mind and the growing back of the hair and the condition and the work I'll go down and i take a piece from here and I keep putting longer. For you hairdressers out there, notice I put the hand on the head. You have to manage the hair. You have to be able to control the client's hair. You have to have your hand here to control this hair. The client's hair have to be controlled because she can move or slip her head and you get a, a bad cut. So you're gonna keep your chair turned and you're gonna make sure you comb down properly and you're not gonna take your hand off of this head here because if you do all the time and she moves, there you go. But if you're experienced and she moves, you'll be able to catch that over the years. But there you are. So you're cutting now this way. 
and this way. The thickness is not completely there, but that's okay because we're going to fill in some hair for the thickness that she wants. So I'm not going to make this exactly like that where the thickness is back in the days we tried to get rid of that fineness there but no you can't you can't get rid of it because not everybody here grows even and you get a different shape and style if you get rid of that so you have to consider you're doing a custom cut for your your customers or your clients everyone is different it's not a book it's not a book. You're working with the hair that you have got here. If it's the wigs or the mannequins, that's different. But we're working with real hair now and real people. So that makes a difference. If she wants it shorter, I give her the opportunity to have this cut shorter. But I'm not going to go shorter because I can't put it back. Guys, we can't put back the hair unless we put a weave. So we're not going to go shorter. Your cuts have to be able to form a style. If your cut don't start styling, then you haven't got a good cut. If your cut is out of place, you haven't got a good cut. The cut is the style. Makes it easier for your clients. It's the style that they can manage their hair and move it around. It can't be faked. You must get a cut properly in. It cannot be faked. A real cut cannot be faked because when she wakes up, she's getting really mad, you know, that this piece sticking out and this can't work and that, that can't work. And they're pain. They're pain. It's not like it's the mannequin and the YouTube channel that you can get away with doing that, maybe. They're pain and they're going to get very upset in their jobs and stuff if they go and this hair is not um, getting ready in the morning quickly. That's getting anybody upset. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> if you ever know how long I'm doing here, I wanted to say how I came up on YouTube because I've been seeing some of my styles and work on YouTube. I have, and I said, wait. How come those styles up there? And I have done them 40 years ago or 30 years ago, and YouTube wasn't in when I did those styles and created some. So I'm saying, what is this? I guess I have to come on this platform. So I'm the original and a lot of stuff, and I'm not going to back off on that. I have lots of people who would back me with that. Do you mind? No. Since I was 12 years old, I'm 42. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to make a video that I'm a pioneer hairdresser and I'm going to be sticking to that because it is true it's not going to change that's why I'm on YouTube to do some of the works show some of the stuff and redo some of my own stuff that was done on YouTube original that is not even original but it's done right guys the Brenda Smile channel subscribe <laughs> <laughs>
penetrate and it get greasy on the hair ends so I would not do that because then I would have in strings of grease and then that's when we started to use the powder and eventually we started even we started to use a toothbrush for the hair edges long time ago many we couldn't get the products and stuff so we started to do our own thing we started to use eyeshadow for hair sides and I have some old videos on some things but anyway, I'm going to really blow dry now. It was the, that special brush we use, the denim, that, that brush. But I'll use one of these brushes. There we go, guys. There we go. I can use both hands to blow with. I was fortunate to pass the blower from one hand to the next. So there we go. So we're going to blow out. And if we need to straighten, we would do like that and pump out the hair roots and the direction this way, this way, this way, this way, depending on where we want it. You can use a round brush for the ends and we form it as well. But I'm just going like this right now. You can take it out.
fatigue, not in the fat tie in here. And then you're gonna put a piece in with the daughter. That's what I'm used to doing first before we start. Start to put the first weave, which was hard when we started. <laughs> we didn't have, you know, we had to do the front. Just put the weave at the back. And just had to the hair at the front. And we weren't playing it very well. Like usually when you start to play for the first time, like the first time when you get the curls. Everything has to go through experiencing it and mistakes and correcting them. So that, that's the natural hair that is um, relaxed a little bit and just not even, nothing else is on.